time for dissolution of polydioxone this is a very straightforward question but has been asked many a times you get a question polydioxone which we commonly know as pds yes this is an ideal suture this is an ideal suture for abdominal closure why it is ideal because it has a delayed absorption strength 180 days is the time of absorption and because it gets absorbed in 180 days it is ideally to be used because 6 months is the time taken by the abdominal wall or any muscular tissue to gain 90% of the strength and after that it has no use because no tissue will have 100% of the strength and thus by that time it starts to dissolve the advantage is that there is no granuloma formation with this then it is also ideal suture for gi anastomosis also gut anastomosis the advantage of using pds over vacrel is that it's a smooth it's a smooth monofilament suture it's not braided like vacrel so you don't need lubrication or jelly to pass through and lesser tissue damage and it can be easily glided majority of the laparoscopic surgeons in laparoscopic surgery robotic surgery we using pds only for the anastomosis anyways let us uh, see few important things here when we are talking about pds when we are talking about pds let us quickly have a look at the at few sutures and their days of absorption very quick guide on that so when we talk about the sutures the sutures you know we have catgut we have catgut and days of absorption is 7 to 10 days 7 to 10 days days of absorption but we are not using the pure catgut we are using the chromic version of catgut so chromic catgut yes this is going to absorb in 90 days then we have polygalactin polygalactin 910 so when we talk about polygalactin 910 which is also marketed by the name of vicryl vicryl this is the brand name okay yeah. we have 60 to 90 days as a time of absorption then we have something like rapidly absorbable vicryl rapidly absorbable absorbable polygalactin 910 students this is marketed by the name of vicryl rapid and it gets absorbed in 7 to 10 days dekho there is there is one controversy lot of people say 42 is the day 42 days is the days of absorption the point is when you give when you use vicryl rapid for surface surgery specifically where is it used it is used for surface surgeries like circumcision hydrosynectomy after 7 10 days you will see that it breaks open and automatically it is smoothed out so this is what is the beauty of this vicryl rapid within 7 to 10 days it loses its complete strength and it opens and it is taken out or it itself comes out this is what then we have a vicryl plus that is antibiotic coated vicryl antibiotic coated vicryl when we talk about antibiotic coated vicryl this is marketed by the name of vicryl plus vicryl plus so i shouldn't be writing vicryl i should be writing polygalactin and this is again 60 to 90 days and the days of absorption is same but the advantage is that it is trichosalan coated it is trichosalan coated and since it is trichosalan coated yes it can be used for gi anastomosis at the colorectal spaces or the coloanal you can say anastomosis where the risk of anastomotic leakage because of infection is quite high then we have polydioxone i have already discussed polydioxone 180 days 180 days yes then we have polyglycapron polyglycapron when we talk about polyglycapron it is 120 days 90 to 120 days and it is the ideal suture i think you know this is marketed by the name of monocryl and this is ideal suture for subcut suturing ideal suture for subcutaneous suturing then we also have certain non absorbable sutures when we talk about non absorbable sutures we have uh, proline that is polypropylene yes we have polyamide that is ethylon so polypropylene or proline then we have uh, ethylon then we have polyethylene this is polyamide this is polyethylene polyethylene is ethy bond we use it this is ideal suture so if you talk about proline where do we use it 
for nerve graft repair for nerve graft repair for tendon repairs for tendon repairs we use it for vascular repair for vascular repair we also use it for your mesh fixation mesh fixation we use it for hernia repairs hernia repairs you can also close the abdomen if you don't have a pds so hernia repair also we use this okay polyamide if you talk about polyamide this is ideal suture for skin closure skin approximation polyethylene we use it for diaphragmatic diaphragmatic hernia repair this is very good for diaphragmatic hernia repair tracheal repair tracheal repair then tendon repair tendon repair it's a very costly suture remember it's a braided gray colored suture it's a braided gray color many of you think that it's a monofilament so it's a braided gray color then we have nylon then we have nylon yeah this is again a suture for tendon repair for tendon repair then we have ss stainless steel stainless steel that is for stir not to me repair so this is very important these are some important sutures that we use apart from this we have silk this is used for vessel ligation for vessel ligation for drain fixations etc etc